What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond coming at you on this Friday, the 20th of August. I uh, just wanted to give you a shout before we head into the weekend here. Uh, great week at Capstone. Uh, hiring behind the scenes. Uh, we are dealing with, uh, like I mentioned a couple weeks ago, with all the rain. Um, of course, we're dealing with weeds, right? Uh, HOA violations this week. I think we had like just over 20. It's like out of control. So we are focused on some proactive stuff that we can be doing. Uh, as it's raining to making sure that the tenants are aware and as well y'all as the owners are aware as well if you're responsible for landscaping hey get on the calendars get on the schedule to these uh these landscapers uh, to make sure that they can get it done sooner than later um, so cool um, wanted to reach out today the market has been um, august the beginning just like it used to be uh, we start seeing that that dip uh, this week picked up again uh, back to you know what we know of this market that it's uh, super hot um, not like it was a few months ago but at least it's it's still gangbusters we're getting offers and you know honestly uh, we're seeing institutional buyers come in to pick up properties before they hit the market and paying more than we'd expect now we have a couple of relationships with a couple of institutional buyers where we um, arguably can push the pricing up higher to get them to um, commit and say yes. Um, so far, they haven't backed out once they've been under contract, which has been a good thing. But, I mean, let's see how that goes. Um, right now, they've been giving us just numbers that, are, uh, that don't make any sense, right, um, on properties that are under 400000 Anything under four hundred, they're coming in, they're buying, they're renting out. Rents are just amazingly hot right now um, I'm going through uh, you know personally I have a, a portfolio of properties as well um, I do this too right like I uh, all of the things that I suggest others do I learn a lot from you all and uh, do it myself right so you know my goal has always been to, to stay at it and uh, try to acquire at least one a year um, let me tell you about acquiring right now uh, for self-employed borrowers uh, things have gotten exceptionally tricky uh, over the last year. Um, the last place I picked up was last March, and um, dang, jammed through that thing. Bang, 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 bang. It was just before COVID, right at the beginning of COVID. Um, things were super simple, and now it's like, whoa, they really are scrutinizing everything. So if you're self-employed and you're getting the, the run through the ringer, uh, don't think it's you. I mean, my wife's a lender, right? Like, good grief. Like, you should hear the conversations we're having in our house right now. Yeah. So, hey, I did want to bring something up. Um, she's our lender. She's amazing. I love her. Uh, but she is working with me and giving us access. I know I brought it up before. A tool that her company uses called Mortgage Coach. I cannot say enough good things about it. Um, I am a visual learner. Uh, when someone explains something to me, especially about numbers, if I can't literally visualize what's happening in my head, I, I get lost. And I focus on this thing over here, and the, the point of everything is over here, right? I, I don't know if you're the same way, but that's how I am. The mortgage coach thing, and I'll give you a quick example. Um, right now, investor rates are, you know, are pretty decent. What she's done is given me options for 20% versus 25% down. But then, right, so I can see that right here. I can see what my monthly savings is. I can see um, what my first uh, loan five-year cost is. I can see how those, those differ. I can see what my savings is after 60 months if I was to put 25% down versus 20% down. What's more interesting, though, is... And, and again, I'm not the expert on this stuff. I don't know how stocks and bonds and uh, treasury and all that stuff affects interest rates. So I'm not the guy to ask. But what I do know is that right now, using points to buy down the rate is a huge spread. So what she also gave me in line with this is a 20% down buy down option, which doesn't look that dissimilar than the 25%. However, it's saving a ton of money on the front end. So if, you know, I know that points and that type of thing have always had a bad reputation. I mean, for me, I'm always like, points, why would I buy this down? 
Last year, points bought you nothing, right? This year, oh my gosh, it's such a game changer and seeing it in person um, is helpful. Um, that being said, uh, if you do wanna see this in action, I'll put a link in here so that you guys can, I can put you in touch with Rach. She can run you through. It takes her uh, about 20 minutes behind the scenes to put all this stuff together. She won't push product on you or anything like that. She's just gonna do it as a hookup to you for being with Capstone. Uh, but it's, it's something that I think everybody should see if they're contemplating a refinance to do a cash out. Right now is a great time to do so, to get the money out of your asset that's you know basically appreciated so much and you're like, should I sell it to get the money out? Uh, maybe not, maybe you just refinance it get a really low interest rate on it if you don't have one already and take that cash and use that cash for what you thought you were gonna use it for. Hopefully an appreciating asset and something that is going to pay you in the future. Um, if you'd have questions about that, let me know. Um, I'd love to put you in touch with her. I found so much value in this and am super pleased that they offer this because it's something that I hadn't seen before as easy as this uh, for me to understand, right? Um, hope that helps. Uh, behind the scenes, we've got a lot of cool things that we're going to be employing here. Um, I love your all feedback. Um, there is always room for us to grow. And I think as um, the market shifts, as it changes, we, ha we are doing everything we can to be proactive and staying ahead of this market, right? Um, and at the end of the day, uh, the most important thing to us in this, um, and so you know, we really value our transparency. We really value, um, you know, the experience that we have in this market to navigate it and navigate through it and help our clients through it. We also really, really um, value education and stay leveling up here in the office, helping our clients level up, and you know, when we get feedback that you're like, hey, Ed, this is something you guys could be doing to improve. I listen, like we listen. Like this is, this is something that I relish the most because you know, it's, it's super helpful to know when people care enough to give us that feedback. So for those of you that have done so um, or have said, hey, how about this? It's like that stuff is so, 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 so helpful because Oftentimes as we're in the weeds getting this stuff done, like it's good to hear from those that matter the most and that are affected the most by how we're uh, conducting business and getting things done, right? If it's more or less communication or, you know, this type of feedback or, you know, making sure that we're educating you on, on this tool or this tool, it's like, uh, let us know because, um, you know, at the end of the day, we want to uh, ensure that uh, you are getting more value from our business than you know any other property management company that you had experiences with in the past or uh, that you may work with in the future, whether here or uh, elsewhere. Thanks so much. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Feel free to subscribe if uh, these are resonating with you. Um, we definitely want to keep these videos going and making sure you all are seeing you know behind the behind the the, the cloth like what are we experiencing? What's the market doing? And and from our perspective like. Um, what's, what's the market doing? Cool. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.